Welcome back everybody, thanks for tuning in. 2017 has just started and I figured that I should make a top 5 video of the games that I'm most excited for. This is to follow my most anticipated games of 2017 video. Speaking of which, if you haven't seen it, give it a peek. I worked hard on it and I'd love to see some support. So, let's get into the countdown. At number 5, we have Star Wars Battlefront 2. The reason why I have this at number 5 is because Battlefront kind of let me down up until Space Battles came into the game. EA shows promise that they intend to make the game and series better. I personally want a campaign and space battles with mechanics from the original Battlefront 2. And according to sites and articles online, Battlefront 2 will feature better worlds and different eras. This could mean that we could play through multiple different episodes. If all the rumors become fact, then I predict and hope that the game should be better than its predecessor. A campaign would personally be a deal breaker for me, especially if it were co-op. Spoiler alert, if you haven't played God of War 1, 2, or 3, I suggest you skip ahead because the number 4 spot is taken by God of War. I myself am a huge fan of the series, and after God of War 3 ended, I was always stuck with the question of what the hell happened to the world. Kratos kills off every important god in God of War 3, including himself, thus plunging the world into absolute chaos. Now in God of War 4, you still play as what seems to be Kratos, but with a Norse mythological setting. Not only that, but Kratos now is a kid? Like what? At the end of God of War 3, Kratos killed himself on top of a phoenix and grave platform. As we know in Greek mythology, phoenixes are known for resurrecting themselves. This version of Kratos may look very similar, but is it also possible that this is a reincarnation of Kratos? The other question that I had to ask myself is if the series is actually being rebooted, because instead of the titling it God of War 4 or something else, the game is just titled God of War. There are just so many unanswered questions that need to be explained. Let me know if you have anything to add in the comment section below. At number 3, we have Uncharted 5 The Lost Legacy. We all know at this point that Nathan Drake's time as an adventurer is over. Based off Naughty Dog's trailer PlayStation Experience, we get a new storyline with Chloe. I'm assuming that the story of the game has to deal with Chloe's past before she met Nathan in Uncharted 2. Whatever the case may be, I trust that Naughty Dog will make this into a beautiful piece to sit along with the other games in the series. With horror at its very core, we have Resident Evil 7 coming in at number 2. When playing the multiple demos for Resident Evil 7, I found that I really liked the game. However, it scared the absolute shit out of me, which is perfect because that's what the game is meant to do. With all the easter eggs, secrets, and possibilities that were available to us in the demo, in the updated demo of the game, we can get a feeling that we can mold the story into whatever we like for a thrilling and unforgettable experience. It will take a lot of balls for me to actually take advantage of all the game has to offer since I'm a wuss when it comes to playing horror. And before we get into the number one game of 2017 that I myself am most excited for, here are a few honorable mentions. At number one, we have Spider-Man on PS4. At number two, we have Injustice 2. At number three, we have Ghost Recon Wildlands. At number four, we have Crash Bandicoot. At number five, we have Destiny 2. And at number one, the game that I myself am personally most excited for in 2017 is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. With that being said, I do, um, <laughs> I do plan on breaking the bank on getting a Nintendo Switch, that's right. <laughs> so, while watching the trailer for Breath of the Wild, I felt so very, very compelled to play it. The game itself looks absolutely beautiful, and with RPG elements and mechanics, or by itself being an RPG as a whole, I am very excited. I myself, I've only played The Legend of Zelda on portable platforms, but with my new rig, my new PC rig that is, I plan on finishing Twilight Princess and The Wind Waker. Yes, I'm not a die-hard Zelda fan, but still, that, is so, how, that just shows how compelled I am to get a Switch, sit down, and play what so far seems to be the most anticipated game of 2017. Well, thanks for watching the video if you made it this far. If you liked the video, slam that like button, and if you didn't like it, feel free to leave a dislike, give me some constructive criticism in the comments, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.